What's up, Aquarius, kings, queens, and everything in between? I am Austria of Unbothered Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury to give you guys a general versus message for the 24th through the 30th. Alright, right now I'm getting um, mutual energy for you and the person that's most popular on your mind here. All right, so we have new love in the reverse. A new person has surged your romantic feelings. We have, it is safe for you to love in the reverse. Um, you're, you're open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Then we have, give your relationship a chance in the reverse. Work on your partnership. And we have, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. When I get this card, most of the time I always get um to, to myself i think about your ancestors trying to assist you you getting help from your spirit guides and yeah and we have divine timing in the reverse here i'm sorry worth waiting for in the reverse but it does say divine timing is that working your love life so i'm definitely getting someone that's not worth the wait um here and we're going to go ahead and just get a little bit more energy from here with this new love. So, obviously, you're dealing with someone from the past that you feel like you cannot be open with here. And you're struggling with giving them a chance, obviously. But it looks like, for some of you, it's very simple, majority, maybe you shouldn't be giving this person a chance, okay? Okay. Yep, and it's fine. So, <laughs> Cancer energy here, King of Cups, that is, I'm sorry, your energy here, Aquarius, as well as Pisces energy with the Page of Cups in the reverse. Someone is definitely in a, dealing with like abandonment issues here. Um, someone could have felt like you abandoned them or you could be feeling abandoned here. I'm also getting a sense of some toxic energy here with this King of Cups in the reverse because this is all, I'm sorry, this is all about emotional abuse. Um, you could be dealing with someone that had that energy. I'm also getting this sense of it's, it's definitely like a, someone, the reason why someone acts this way is because they're afraid of something here um some sense of like and someone is also possibly depressed and i just saw three 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 so look at those bear numbers you guys a lot of you decided to move on from from that bullshit you like no nah, i'm good um some of you could be have a child with this person a possible water child uh so a cancer pisces or a scorpio Five of Wands in the reverse, Four of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Six of Swords. Yeah. A lot of you guys are deciding to move on from someone that um, could have been um, un not really stable. Um, someone that had a fear of, like, this shit working out here. Someone that definitely disappointed you. Could have been dealing with some sort of narcissist. Someone that was dealing with um, issues of insecurity. You could have decided like this shit is not worth it. It is not safe for me to be with you. So I got to move past it. I got to leave this shit alone. Yeah, and this could have been a Taurus Libra here that you're trying to heal from. Yeah. Let's just give your relationship a chance here, Spirit. All right. Judgments. Two of Wands and Three of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely going back and forth with yourself if you should um, focus on this relationship or choose this person or not. Always go with your first mind, baby. Whatever you feel like it should be, that's what it's going to be because you're getting a sense of clarity here about this person shit that you didn't realize um, in the past here and during this time. For some of you, it is going to be um, clarity that's going to uh, allow you to want to resurrect this relationship here. 
but some of you the whatever your um whatever secrets are coming out you're gonna want to walk away from this and focus on yourself and possible new love here all right so let's go ahead and jump right into it here So we got shattered. I'm feeling broken. Can't stop these racing thoughts. We have love story here. A true love story never ends. Let's start a new chapter. But you see them three roses. So possible um, another person involved. Revealing. I'm ready to, to express what's been on my mind. Like I said, something's coming out. We also have longing here. I'm longing for the other half I have lost. What did I say? Y'all heard me. Y'all heard me. Okay. Okay, but y'all stay. Y'all stay. <laughs> stay until. All right. So, perfect match. We are a perfect match. Reason why our fire burns so hot. Yeah, this is, this like, you could have a perfect match with this person, but it's also a sense of, like, you going back and forth with this person on some toxic-ass shit here. Um, this person, you can feel like it's a perfect match for you, but this person broke your heart. We have the other here. The other person I'm seeing is influencing my decisions. Told you. <laughs> Told you. Uh, ego, I lost myself while trying to save my ego. Mm. And then we have deception here at the bottom, and we got player, but also soulmate. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, I've been playing the field, not ready to settle down. Deception, I lie to you because I'm afraid of the choices you'll make. Baby, ain't that what they all say? All right, look, all right. Let's go ahead and get your person's energy first. What's their intentions during this time? They will be on the left, you'll be on the right. Okay. Source energy, Gemini Taurus energy with the sun, Leo energy. This person is trying to move towards being um, in a place of happiness, at least this is their intent. Being clear about doing what makes them happy um, or what makes you happy since uh, the this is a sword means our air which is your energy um, Capricorn energy with the devil card it seems like this person is um Okay, first of all, it's a lot of sex, sexual shit here, sexual energy here, right? Um, but this person does want to rebuild the foundation of love with you because this person does have a lot of love for you. But how this person does it, it may be in some sort of a toxic way with this devil card popping up. Especially because it's like, um, this person goes back and forth with how to release or how to change. This person is having trouble changing uh, their energy from this toxic ass energy. Yeah, but they do seem to want to work on it though. Let's see what your intent is during this time. Aquarius. Alright. <laughs> 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 
Y'all funny. You said I'm chilling. <laughs> you said I am chilling. Uh, Gemini energy with the lover's card in the reverse here. With the um, page of page of swords here and the strength card you're watching to see what they do and you're trying to kind of be in a place of controlling yourself you're having willpower so you're deciding like you don't need to make a decision until you see what this person is doing and what this like what direction this person is going in you don't want to like show your hand and you don't want to make a decision or anything because it's like if this person's going to continue to be shitty then there's no reason for you to even make a decision. You don't feel like it's logical <laughs> to try to step forward towards this person here. Five of Cups in the reverse, though. You are thinking, though, about this person and how they uh, disappointed you and how they hurt you, though. And uh, for those of you that could possibly have hurt this person, not really getting a lot of that, but for those of you that could have, it's a sense of you're thinking about how you guys can make this right because you're regretting that. All right, let's see the challenge here. King of Wands here. Sagittarius' is energy is all Scorpios. Two of Cups. Five of Swords. Alright. This person is very charismatic. Um, <laughs> they definitely get you to see like how they feel. You could be dealing with the fire sign here. Aries Leo Sag. But... They get you to see how they feel. And this person is going to try their damnedest to reconcile this relationship because this is what they want. Um, they also, they feel like this shit's going to be hard as hell to get your forgiveness, though, for a lot of the shit that they've done. But they are wanting to see if it's a possibility with the Three of Cups and the Four of Cups here. You know, because this person has already taken stock in the situation and they realize that they want you. You know, they've already taken the time to step back away from the situation and they, they know that this is what they want. So they, um, they're they trying to figure out how to make it work. Like, how can I make it do what it do? All right, let's see what you're finding um, challenging during this time here. There it is. All right, tower card here with the uh, tower card in the reverse here. You're finding out something and you're kind of conflicted here already. Yeah, uh, star card, your energy. This is Aries energy here. And the knight of wands here. <laughs> Knight of Wands is Leo's energy as well as Cancer. You're trying to figure out if you can forgive somebody for their promiscuous ways because something ended. You're trying to get over that. Get over that. You're trying to get over somebody shaking your foundation. And you're trying to, you know, be hopeful and heal yourself um, in this situation. But you're really not sure if you can for a lot of you. Yeah. Libra energy here, as well as Leo's. The universe is all over this shit, too, by the way. But yeah, you're definitely in a place of not wanting to move forward or not sure that you can move forward. And it's because this shit, is, it was fated to happen. But so is your happiness. So keep that in mind. You know, so whatever decision you make, you know, just do what's best for you. What actions will be happening during this time, Spirit? Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Y'all yeah, know I know this here, so I definitely want to know what's going on here. Alright. We have the Five of Cups here. 
the temperance card, Sagittarius energy, and the three of pentacles. Okay, so this person has taken the t has taken the time to kind of um, step back from this situation, and now they're wanting to come back in and either offer forgiveness or get forgiveness. They want to start over in a sense of maturity here. They also want to heal whatever they fucked up here. Um, they want they want forgiveness and they want to um, come back into union with you with this three of pentacles here yeah they miss you a lot of you they miss your sex a lot too they they met they dream about having sex with you here and they miss having sex with you like that is um, capricorn energy here with the moon card um they're also willing to be um a little bit more open about you know how they feel or at least the secrets that they were keeping All right, what are your actions here? Hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so it looks like you're going to be vocal about how you feel about this person and if you want to move forward with this person. Um, a lot of you guys can be really missing this person at this time with this high priestess in the reverse here. And you could be feeling very disconnected from this person. Some of you um, are separated from this person and be sure to check out your separation or contact reading. But with this... Uh, in the reverse is also a sense of you know you're deciding that you want to, to to start over here you're going to give this person the benefit of the doubt and you're going to decide to move forward here um others you're going to you know choose your independence you're going to start over without that but yeah at the end of the day you're wanting to transform this relationship or at least for a majority of you into something um with a commitment Taurus, Gemini energy, um, and Aries energy here. All right, let's see what signs you guys are dealing with during this time. And look up 1818, those spirit numbers. All right. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe here, you guys. All right, we have Sun here, so that's Leo's energy. We have Jupiter, which is Sagittarius' energy. And we have Taurus Libra energy with Venus. And we have Pisces at the back, okay? All right, so thank you so much for all of your love and support. And I send it back to you guys tenfold, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.